What is up guys? It is your boy Tor Crunch and in today's video we are actually gonna go ahead and do a little breakdown of the stream that happened just an hour or so ago on KLab Live Station. Uh, I'll have a link in the description so you guys can go watch that all in its entirety. They actually had a lot to introduce or uh, things that are dropping in the near future. Um, and I've decided, you know what, why not? Because I was originally not going to do anything on it until I saw the, the highlight video. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it. First new thing that they introduced was uh, this right here, a banner that should be coming out on the 13th uh, with uh, Wonderwise, Tensa, and Apache. Um, of course, this is on the side of also uh, Manga Toshiro coming out. So Manga Toshiro is still going to have his individual banner, but this will be another one on his side uh, with, of course, really cool characters, Tensa, Wonderwise, and Apache. If you don't have either of those, of course, you can summon on this. This is only a 3% chance banner, but um, definitely if you've already got all the manga characters, go for it. But if you don't, I would save and go for the manga characters. Uh, but this is actually not a bad option. Uh, Tensa is awesome i have him same with wonderwise and apache the other two are okay they're they're decent characters but tensa if you don't have him i would definitely go in on this banner because uh he's still a very hyped character but um yeah that's coming out on the 13th should be up for a couple of days next up that was new uh is this a uh, planned event that's coming out actually tonight um as of this video uh, it's a new uh, event that actually was already released. As you see, it says re-released Quincy Challenge, uh, but it does come out with a new rookie, I believe. Um, I think that's what they said in there. And it also comes with a chance of getting BBS tickets and four to five star tickets through the lottery. Uh, so that's actually really awesome. I, I really like these kind of events. Uh, they don't come out too, too often. Uh, I mean, they have been coming out a little bit more often as of late, but uh, you know, of course, if you want to go ahead and do this, uh, at least complete the orders and you should be able to get a couple of each. Um, so that's awesome. That should be coming out tonight for the next couple of days. Next up on the list was this right here. That's actually the nightmare mode that's coming out. Um, it does include Toshiro, Byakuya, Kenny, Mayuri, and Aizen. And like you, if you've already done this, you already know how it works. But if you don't, uh, it's an event that actually ends up having a lot of uh orbs involved you get about 50 in return and then you get a bunch of really nice accessory tickets and normal tickets i think you get like six or so bbs tickets you get uh one of those four to five star tickets and then a one four to five star accessory ticket oh and then you also get a couple of the uh premium accessory tickets so this is definitely a great event uh that should be coming out very soon uh so stay tuned for that should be pretty easy for the most part uh these usually uh, are pretty easy nowadays the next thing they went ahead and announced was on the 16th, we will be getting Inheritance Zone. Um, this, of course, I think it's going to be the same structure to how they have been doing lately. Um, or, you know, they've been doing, I think, for the last couple of months. It's, uh, you know, one, two, two uh, colors, two attributes a day. And then the last three days or two days are um two attributes just they re-release them again for one last day out of the whole week so of course inheritance zone if you don't know it's super hard it's super it's the hardest uh, difficulty actually but it's enjoyable to do uh, if you want a little bit of a challenge and of course you get potions which just make your characters that much better so definitely do that if you would like and that's on the 16th and of course that's for a whole week i believe is what is the next frenzy character and although it's not a new character it's a character that i'm not too uh i'm actually pretty hyped for because it is a hypnotic frenzy which is aizen uh we've already had this once before uh, but like I said, I am not uh, too disappointed because he has a great uh, soul trait, which is, I think, yeah, 18 strong attack damage and 16 uh, health regeneration uh, between quests. So very good link when it comes to PvE, like raids or even inheritance. This is a great link to have. And so that should be coming out. And if you don't have them, that's great for orbs. Uh, you get, of course, uh, orbs for, through the orders. You get a bunch of tickets. And then on top of that, you get a new character that, like I said, you can use as a, as a character link. So that should be coming out on the 16th. Usually these last for about a month. Um, so I believe uh, that should be out for a while. The next thing they actually went ahead and announced is a new sub story coming out very soon. It's uh, planned for the 17th. It's uh, Behold, I am Marechio Omaida. So that should be coming out. Um, you know, sub stories are usually 
there just for orbs or just if you might have missed the four star character that was in that banner you can get them usually uh but yeah this is nice for a little bit of orbs they'll give you usually about like anywhere from 20 to maybe even 50 orbs closer to 50 sometimes but hey i mean i'll take it free orbs basically and uh something that to look forward to i guess to get a couple orbs back next up was just basically the questions that they usually answer at the end of the stream which was um is the skill key gone forever kind of uh, is I think that's what they were asking and they actually went ahead and clarified it. No, it will be back in the future um, Just stay tuned for that. Just get ready for that at some point um, Which I, I mean come on I don't think they should be spamming this event out too much just because skill keys are uh, I think they're nice to have but not too many I mean cuz then then again You don't even have to work for raid characters if they just release them like every damn week I think you get to the point where all right do i even have to do raids so um this is actually obviously nice to hear that we're getting it back uh, but then again i understand why it's not out every week uh so yeah i guess that answers that question and they also had one more um which is let me go ahead and pull that up when is the next point of it and they actually did go ahead and say that it will be coming out um, at the end of the month for global so I don't believe it's not going to be the JP one that we just recently got on JP But it will be a new one uh, that global hasn't got, gotten yet So of course point events are always nice So of course look forward to that at the end of the month and I think that basically does sum up the stream It was an awesome time over there. I Sadly wasn't able to get there on time, but I was able to watch the highlight Like I said, I'll have a link in the description so you guys can go go ahead and watch the stream in its entirety uh, But that is basically it. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all your support um, Go support the people go support the K lab live station crew. They're awesome over there and uh, yeah Let them know that I sent you there. Anyways. Love you all so much, man uh, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace